you guys are going to suppress it. Let's talk about the progress, uh, the, the, the real fight. Should be told, this wasn't really the most exciting fight to watch. Well, in the first round, um, Pro Gray came out, and you know, the blood pressure was real in the round, and I think that was the ending of the first round, something like that. Uh, Zaria caught Pro Gray coming in, clipped him with the right hand. Pro Gray fell down, but as he was falling down, he reached out, grabbed Zaria, also you know, tripped over at the same time. Um, Pro Gray got up, and the referee didn't count as a knockdown. That is a knockdown. You know, that is a knockdown. I don't mind the referee didn't count as a knockdown. Um, but yeah, most of the rounds after that, you know, well, Progray won two and then won three when he's really like powerful. That's how knockdown. He shot the rear. The referee called that one a knockdown. And it crashed. And, you know, there you go. And then the rest of the fight, Jiri was just moving away, you know, not really trying to engage and whatnot. Progray struggling to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, cut the rings off and pin the uh, rear down. Not really throwing that many body shots, which I don't understand why. I mean, Find a guy that keeps on rings and pulls the body to slow him down, you know. But say towards like I guess the middle round, maybe the late middle round, say seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, those rounds can argue people like Zaria. You know, that's when Zaria did better work later on in the fight, and you know, probably won eleventh, and then Zaria closed off fourth round. So I had a fight seven five favor of Progray. Um, I scored seventh round even, and I had. Obviously, you know, the knockdown for one round three. And if the referee counted it correctly, you know, the knockdown in round one for one favor is real. But it is what it is. You can't really control that. You know. But my thoughts on the fight really is Pro Gray did not really look that good. He didn't. He struggled to pin down the guy that was moving around. He didn't go to the border or anything like that. His attacks just looked. I don't know what it was like. I, he didn't really look that good at all. Like, he did, didn't really seem that much to write. He just attacked. You know, he didn't really seem to set up his punches more or anything like that. He didn't really try and create openings. He just came in and just threw punches. Like, I I don't know. He didn't, look, he didn't really look that good. Maybe it's because he's fighting in his hometown. <clears throat> you know, so maybe that's starting to do with performance. But, yeah, he didn't really look good. He didn't look really look good at all. Um, as far as the match between Devin Haney goes, the fact that this fight was this close against the Real, he, no offense, had his chin up. So fucking high, it's a shot that Progray didn't even knock him out in the first place. Like, seriously, his chin was high in the air. That, which is the reason why Progray was going to knock down in the first place. Like, Zaria's chin is so high in the air, and his posture is so awkward. Like, he looks like someone that's just started sparring for the first time. Like, literally, that's what he looks like. <laughs> you guys don't be telling me his posture doesn't look off, you know, but clearly it works for a minute. You know, but if he's having that total fight against someone that level Zaria, I mean, what would the fight between him? And Devin Haney, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would Devin Haney do? That would, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't really know much about Zaria. I'm not going to say too much on a fight between Broga and Devin Haney. But for those that fought, Devin Haney's going to get clipped and knocked out easy. You know, like you agree with the the Lomachenko fight. What do you people think now? Because I know how boxing fans are so fickle. They constantly switch from, you know, um, doing, you know, uh, narrative to narrative. Like, they can't even keep themselves straight. Like, you, you motherfuckers are fanboys. But, yeah, that's why I didn't really say too much on who would win between Haney and Progray because I didn't really know. Progray hadn't really come, ag- come against the meter, really, truly. You know what I mean? And that is really come, against, come, come across the me, but he didn't really look for the tool. You know what I mean? And Devin Haney's a real, so how would that fight look? You know, I'm just saying. But that's the only five what she's a real, so I can't really come to a 100% full conclusion on that. But I'm just saying, like, so far, Devin Haney's been to the fight. And I probably would be picking him to win the fight, you know. But anyways, I'm not going to say too much. Probably give better, pro greater better for the doubt here. Probably had a bad performance because he's been fighting in front of his hometown. Or maybe that's just how he looks against me because, like I said before, he doesn't really fight against me. He's against me. He's never really poor. So now he's fought his first mover. Someone that can make him miss and counter him. You know, like Devin Haney can count on him, make him miss, make him count on him, walk around, very good feet, you know. He didn't look that good. Anyways, that's all I've got to say about the fight. Spurs, I'm out. Oh, one more thing. Um, <laughs> It's funny how um 
I don't know about both the juniors, all of a sudden I find the confidence. Like, you turned on the fucking fight, you know, um, against Vegas Progre because his fight was actually supposed to be Progre and even Parabol, even Parabol up for the injury. And Parabol was off the fight, but he turned it down for God knows whatever reason. And then that's why, you know, Vegas Progre is fighting this guy instead. Now, all of a sudden, Barbos is coming out saying, don't mention my name and blah, 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 because, you know, I do the progress. Like, you just want you to have the confidence beforehand when you matter the most. You know, you let someone else, someone that you already been, spend. Barbos are coming there and make progress look bad for you, for you to all of a sudden come in there and start piping up and shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> you guys are boxers. You're supposed to fight. Come on. Perfect. Anyways, the first, I'm out. <laughs>